Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to Pop Turner. This is the talk show and podcast where we have digital discussions, worlds of TV, film, news, pop culture, everything really depends on the guests. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Premier Otis. On social media, you know me as PD Beats. And we are talking to Saba Homayoun about Chad on TBS. Just got renewed for season two. Saba, welcome to Pop Turnative. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to chat with you. I mean, it's pretty crazy because, you know, you work on a show for so long. The cast and crew gets along and become lifelong friends. And then you kind of play like the waiting game for a little bit. And it's I guess the waiting's paid off. You guys are getting a second season. Uh, it definitely paid off. It was, uh, it was it was not that torturous. It was exciting, and um, I'm just really excited and glad that it turned out the way it did. Absolutely, and we're gonna get into chat, of course. But I want to know about you. I want to know about the storytelling, acting, when that kind of started for you. Was it at a young age, Saba? It was uh, when I moved to the states um, in second grade. Uh, almost like within a couple of weeks of beginning school, there was a school play and the teacher asked if I wanted to audition for the lead. And I said, no, uh, cause I was nervous, but then I regretted it. And it just sort of started me on this path of wanting to perform. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was obviously later in life that it yeah. became more formalized. Um, but I always, I always love to perform. Absolutely. And you play Naz in TBS's Chad and, uh, mm -hmm. You know, that was one of the shows where a trailer came up because Nazim Pedran is so funny. I loved her on SNL. And the trailer, like, drops. It's like, you know, like, we, 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 we're we in, like, a binge content. We watch a lot of stuff. You see a trailer for something, and you're immediately like, okay, I'm going to watch this. That was kind of what happened with Chad. You know what I mean? That's great. Yeah. That's what you want to hear. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that's, totally. What, what was it like working on a show like this with Nazim and everyone? Just, like, what was your experience like? Um, it was incredible. I mean, Nassim is, you know, she's the, she's so brilliant and she's so alive and fully, you know, inhabits this 14 year old Persian American boy. Um, it was, you know, she empowered all of us. She was like, you know, uh, from day one, she was like, if there's a line you don't like, if, if something doesn't feel real or realistic, you're an actual mom. I want you to come and tell me. She really um, created a collaborative environment um, which is like, I think you see the proof of that when you watch the show, you mm -hmm. can tell that everyone is really happy to be there. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about like the mindset when like you book the role, like you're going to be in the show, you're going to be playing a mother, right? Like what is the mindset like going in to kind of shoot it and everything? Like, is there a lot of preparation involved? You're just kind of going with the flow. Like what's that like for you a week um, before going in? Right. There was really no preparation in the sense that uh, this character just felt so in my body and so a part of who I am. I understood her in a it just was it was one of those things that the second I read it, I was like, this is mine. This is me. It's like it was written for me. Um, and I really felt that way. And I don't, you know, that's not something I have felt before where it was like, this is, this is, no one else can play this part. This is mine. <laughs> um, and when it came time to actually like go in and shoot, you know, it was just a, the script is, they're, they're so good that there's no work you have to do. Yeah. Like it's all there in the language. Like it's not one of those instances where I'm like, oh my God, I have to make this funny. Like, this is not funny. And that's when you have to like really sort of work at it. But th th it was all in the writing and mm -hmm. in the situation. So it was, um, it felt effortless. Um, and that's really a testament to Nassim and the writers. Yep. Um, yeah. Absolutely. This can, this is also like, um, this is also something that has to do also, you know, with your husband, Neil, who also acts and everything. He's, he's in star girl on the CW. I mean, both of you play pretend for a living. Like that's what you do. Have you ever thought about that or explained that to your kids? Like that's what you do. <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, it's so funny. Today's our wedding anniversary. And it's like, you know, we were talking about how, 
you know, we were married like 14 years, but we've been together almost 20 years. <laughs> wow. And we went to graduate school together. So we've been, you know, playing make believe since we were like 22 years old. <laughs> Together we've been playing make believe. So I, I think that it doesn't it, you know, the last couple of years it's been more like, oh my God, we're living the dream. Mm -hmm. Um, which a lot of um we know how rare that is and we, we feel incredibly grateful. But I think it doesn't feel weird at this point. It's like it would be weird if we weren't doing it. Like we've been doing it literally the entire time we've known each other. Yeah. Um in terms of our kids, I, you know, I think, again, it's been a part of their whole life. Like, my kids would, like, be involved in our self-tapes, and they loved to be on the sidelines, and it's like, you know, it's just for them, it's normal. Absolutely. And then there's the time's going to come where they, they might want to, like, dabble into that and maybe play pretend. No. <laughs> well. You no, never no. know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, it is it is a it is a hard business, and I think it is getting harder. Like, mm -hmm. it is not something I I would want my children to do. I'm never going to stand in their way if it's their calling. Absolutely. Um, so far, it doesn't seem to be. And I am very, very, very happy about that. Absolutely, it's interesting too because you know there is a lot of kind of to, to add to that. There is a lot of things in the entertainment industry rather than just acting that a lot of people do a lot of actors now are writing producing going behind the camera as well mm -hmm. um obviously you're kind of focusing on acting you know you're on uh chad on tbs but i mean is that something you want to kind of focus on maybe sometimes too i mean acting is there but like behind the camera writing creating as well saba have you ever thought definitely. about that that is a definite goal of mine yeah. i you know i'm a big reader i'm constantly reading novels you know every every couple of novels i read i'm like this should be a mini series this should be a, like a you know <laughs> a movie. this should be so i'm and i'm you know jotting them down i'm keeping them in mind and then i have my own ideas um just from my own experiences in life or just completely made up things that came to me. And same with Neil. I think that is something I absolutely want to do. And I think, um, you know, Neil is always encouraging me. He's like, you should direct, you know, like you'd be so good at it, which is like so sweet. But, you know, I think, um, I think one of the smartest things to do in this business is to like d diversify um, and, and do as much as you can if, if given the opportunity. Absolutely. He's so good at Stargirl. I cannot wait for season two. <laughs> like, so cool. Like, one of the coolest bad guys, because I'm also, like, I'm from, like, we're both from Montreal, right? Like, I'm a, I'm a hockey fan growing up, right? Yeah. So, when I interviewed him last year, I was just talking about that mask, like, in the coolest kind of outfit yeah. of all the villains. Has, oh, totally, totally. I, I mean, he's my, obviously, like, I'm totally biased, but he's my favorite character. Um, But he, he does have the, like, most badass costume. Like, it's so like, cool. Like, and Tigress. I love Tigress's costume, too. I think they, they just have these, you know, amazing uh, super suits or villain suits in their case. Yeah. Um, it's really cool. But it's like you're entering, like, it's same with Chad to a degree, too. I mean, you know, you go in and you're, you're all entering, like, you're playing pretend for a living. But, like, it's, like you're all, you're entering these new universes, right? Whether it's, like... Um, you know, the DC universe with that stuff, whether it's like the universe of like growing up and like high school right. and family, right? Like you kind of get thrown in there. So what was that like kind of getting thrown into like that kind of sitcom, but like the family with like all the issues and like the school component, right? Like there is a lot to unpack there. Like there is a lot more going on in Chad than people think, uh, in my opinion. Oh yeah. I mean, I think, I think anybody who tunes in sees that it is not just joke, joke, set up, set up, joke, set exactly. up, set up. Like it's, there's a lot of vulnerability, you know, they're tackling a lot of issues that are universal, but also specific to immigrant stories. Um, you know, it's a story about identity. And so anytime you're tackling something real like that, you're going to unpack a lot of issues that, you know, we, we, um, we deal with stereotypes. We deal with uh, fetish fetishization of black culture. We deal with um, white privilege. I mean, it's like it so brings many things. a lot of topics. It doesn't maybe go into them in depthly, but it goes into them in you know in a comedic, humorous, but also vulnerable way. Yeah. Um, 
So it has layers, but I, I think I would hope I, you know, most people get that when watching, you know, at least a couple of episodes. It's I think great. It's, it's, it's great you say that because that's something like I grew up watching sitcoms and I think that was something mi like missing, like sitcoms, like the, co the comedy genre, I feel like is very aware of like what's going on these days and like mm -hmm. throws in a lot of things. It's not just kind of like joke, 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 which is great. And they, those yeah. were shows I grew up on, right? But now it's like becoming more complex. There's a lot going on, you know what I mean? There's like a lot of heart in sitcoms. Sitcoms right. used there to just be slapstick, heart. like nonstop slap. There's a lot of heart in Chad. Yeah, I mean, but the, you know, obviously this is a single camera. So tonally it's yeah. a little bit different than like your, your average sitcom. So I think, you know, what we have with, with when single camera half our comedies came, um, came about, you just, you, you had, it broadened what a comedy could do in half an hour. Um, so it's, it's definitely different than a sitcom. Um, you know, we're not in front of a live audience. We don't have multi, you know, it's, it's different. It's, um, tone wise, it's different. And I think, um, I love that about it. Absolutely. And this, this is a question I always ask my guests. And you kind of like alluded to it a little bit when we were talking mm -hmm. about Chad and how it's packed. But like the obvious answer to this question is you hope like they enjoy it. You know, they, they laugh, they watch with their family right. and friends. But like diving deep into it a little bit more, like when people watch Chad, what are mm -hmm. you hoping they get out of it? Ooh, um, I am hoping that they laugh, obviously. I'm hoping that they get sort of like a, a, a peek into what a Persian American family is really like, mm -hmm. because I, th I do think it does an excellent job of sort of showing, you know, like kind of like what my family was like, that we were very American in some ways. And then in some ways we, we uh, are an immigrant story. Um, so I hope they laugh. I hope they learn something about what it's like to be othered. Um, and, or to feel othered because it's not necessarily that other people are making Chad feel othered. It's just that it's coming from within. Um, and yeah. And, and that they see that the Persian, that Persian Americans, that they have more in common with the Persian American, um, sort of culture than they do, uh, differences. Like we have, we have more in common and I, I hope people recognize that after watching. Absolutely. No, for sure. Saba, I wanted to thank you so much for coming on Pop Turn. It was great yes. to chat with you. It was great chatting with you. A fellow Montre uh, Mo Mo Montrealer. Yes. <laughs> Which is awesome. So, yeah. So, Chad, I mean, it's on season one. People can watch it on demand. Go back and, and watch it. Um, yes, it should be streaming soon. They'll announce where it's streaming um, shortly, I would imagine. Absolutely. But, and... It's official. Season two is is going to be yeah. filmed, which is awesome. Yes, which it is. is. <laughs> it, it's it's crazy too because you know, like I said, we said at the beginning, it's you you play like for the fan. Like I can't even like I'm interviewing like a lot of my like the people I've interviewed on my show that are on on, on uh, these great TV shows. They become friends of mine. So now it's not more like me as a fan like waiting. I'm just hoping it gets renewed for them so they have oh, more work. Well, <laughs> Uh, thank you. Yeah, well, it happened. We can celebrate. <laughs> Which is amazing. And where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? Uh, they can find me on Instagram at Sabahomayoon. Um, I'm on Twitter, but I don't really use it. So I think the best place I would say is Instagram at Sabahomayoon. Amazing. That's kind of like me and TikTok. Like, I'm on TikTok, but I'm not really on TikTok, if you know what I mean. Oh, no, I am not on TikTok. Like, I have a TikTok to see videos, but, like, it's it's, right. a, it's a burner account. Like, it's not no, like... No, <laughs> I like, I definitely like looking at the videos, yeah. but, um, I, yeah, it's... It's, a, it's, it's TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, it's the Saba Homayun from Chat on TBS and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.